Hello friends, welcome to our channel Mechanical Motivator. In this video, we are going to see the construction of an ellipse. Before going into the video, we just have a quick brush up of the concepts. So this is a cone. The topmost part of the cone is called as an apex and this part is called as the generator of the cone and we will be calling this as the axis of the cone and this base, this is called the base of the cone. Now, we are going to use a cutting plane and we are going to cut the cone perpendicular to the axis. Perpendicular to the axis means when we cut the cone perpendicular to this axis, we will be getting a circle. If you remove the top topmost portion, you will be uh, when you see from the top, you will be seeing a circle. The same cone when the when it is cut slightly inclined to the axis of the cone, we will be getting a shape called ellipse like this. If you remove the, this portion and see from top, you will be seeing an ellipse here. An application we can see like say like uh, if you see bullet means the front end will be like an ellipse and uh, a famous uh, church is also the St. Paul's Cathedral Church in London. Uh, in this church only, Ch Charles and Diana marriage was also happened and one most peculiar thing about this church is if anyone whispers a word, the same would be heard at the other end. The entire church will be constructed in an elliptical shape. So this is uh, many applications are there, but try to understand even if your basic example would be an egg. So egg we will be having say, a oval shape, right? So finally, when you complete your diagram, you will be getting a shape like this and this shape is called as an oval shape. Construct a curve when the distance between directrix and focus. The directrix is called as a fixed line and focus is called as a fixed point, 50 mm. Eccentricity of the curve is 2 by 3. This is the eccentricity ratio. Name the curve and draw the tangent and normal at any point on the curve. From the question, you need to note down two details. First thing is fixed point is focus and fixed straight line is directrix. The distance between both they are given 50 mm. And eccentricity ratio is 2 by 3. First step is you need to draw a directrix line and next step is approximately draw half of it. Take a point half of it and draw the axis line. Directrix is D, D dash and axis is A, A dash. Both the lines should be drawn with the H pencil. The next step is we need to fix the focus. They have clearly given that distance between directrix and focus is it's not 40 mm, it's 50 mm given in the question. Just make a note of it. It's not 40, it's 50. So another thing is eccentricity ratio is 2 by 3. So this eccentricity ratio is nothing but distance from the focus divided by distance from the directrix. F will be denoting focus and D will be directrix. If the eccentricity ratio is lesser than 1, we will be getting ellipse. If the eccentricity ratio is equal to 1, we will be getting parabola. If it's greater than 1 means we will be getting hyperbola. Try to remember these three concepts in your mind. Here they are given 2 by 3. It means that two parts from focus and three parts from directrix. So distance between directrix and focus is 50 mm. So just mark focus on the axis line 50 mm from the directrix. The next step is the vertex should be marked two parts from the focus. 50 mm means just take 10 mm, 10 mm and divide into five equal parts. Two divided by three. So two plus three is five. So you need to divide the line into five equal parts. So 10 mm, 10 mm, 10 mm, 10 mm, 10 mm. So we need to fix the point vertex. In this ellipse, there is two vertex. So first point, this is the origin. We need to fix this vertex and second vertex will be getting in upcoming steps. So fix this vertex two parts from the focus. So we have fixed the vertex. The next step is we need to draw VG and VG dash. So whatever distance you are having from V to F, just measure V to F, you will be having some distance. For the same distance, just draw VG and VG dash line and just name it as G and G dash. The next step is you need to join A and G and try to extend to some point. Next step is join A, G dash and extend to some extent. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to divide this is if vertex is the origin point, I'm going to equally divide. I'm going to take a distance of 10 mm, one centimeter. So just divide from vertex 10 mm, 10 mm like that. So for a uh, 
certain distance okay so here i have done with 11 till i am drawn till 11 it may go, be go beyond 11 or else it may also get before 11 also so for certain distance try to divide this line so this is the point from vertex take 10 mm draw a line then from point 1 take 10 mm draw another line likewise to divide correspondingly with an equal length of 1 centimeter or 10 mm it can also be for 0 0.5 centimeter or 0 0.7 centimeter the distance should be equal that's it so divide equally and these lines should be very 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 light okay and the extension line of ag and ag dash also should be very very light and naming uh, you will be getting uh, certain points on axis right so name it as 1 2 3 4 5 so on you will be getting certain points on ag extension line right name it as 1 dash 2 dash 3 dash so on and you will be getting certain points on ag dash extension line name it as 1 1 dash 2 1 dash 3 1 dash the thing is the naming should not get repeated and you should not conf get confused with the naming the next thing is we are going to uh, take a radius so now this step is just now no need to write these things and all in diagram just try for for your uh, uh, clear i am understanding i'm just uh, giving a hint like this so here we'll be having radius and here we'll be having center the radius is take your compass keep it on the point one and measure one one dash so radius is one one dash center is focus so focus as center try to cut an arc in one one dash and one 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 dash for the same radius so listen, listen here one one dash and one 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 dash will be having same radius okay uh, correspondingly you will be having two two dash and two two one dash of the same length you have to take your compass measure one one dash as your radius keep your compass at focus cut an arc on one one dash above as well as below like this next thing is you have to me you have to measure two two dash as your radius you have to keep your compass at center uh, keep focus as your center cut an arc in the corresponding line above and below next is measure three three dash you will be having a radius keep your compass at focus cut an arc at the corresponding line above and below likewise if you do means you will be getting like this and finally at one point your arc will be cutting at the axis that is the vertex this is the what uh, that is the uh, second vertex so in ellipse we will be having two vertex right so one we have found already with the help of eccentricity ratio and second we will be finding with the help of this construction so try to cut an arc very very lightly or else you can also slightly mark because I'm going to uh, draw a curve, right? So curve is only my solution. And next step is you just connect all the points. So vertex will be your origin. Just connect all the points and complete this curve like this. So once you join all the points with HP, curve should be in HP pencil. Connect all the points smoothly with your free hand. You can also use fringe curves for getting smooth curves. And uh, it should be very very dark because curve is my solution i hope you would have understood clearly next step is we just going to draw tangent and normal at any point on the curve so this is the curve i can mark any point i can keep the point here 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 anywhere so i have just kept the point here and i am named as p the next step is join f and p join f and p with your 2H pencil. Use 2H pencil and just draw slightly. So these lines should be drawn very, very light. Join FP and FP as your base, F as your center, draw a perpendicular line, 90 degree line. It should touch the directrix at this point. FP as base, F as center, draw a line perpendicularly. 90 degree it should meet the directrix at this point the next thing is you have to just join this point and point p so you already we marked the point p on the curve right just join these two points this point and this point and try to extend this 
tangent what is tangent it has to meet the curve at only one point and that point is called p so when you join this point and point p and try to extend it is the tangent you will be getting like this and try to draw very very lightly you have to draw using 2h pencil very lightly so listen here t t dash is your tangent and you can uh, use hp pencil take your hp pencil and try to darken half of the distance to left of p and half of the distance to the right of p try to darken slightly and this line is called as your tangent t t dash is your tangent and it should be drawn with hb pencil the next we going to draw normal so t t dash as your base p as your center draw a perpendicular line t t dash is your base and p as your center draw a perpendicular line and that line is called is your normal line and this line is called as a normal line and this should also be drawn with hb pencil n n dash should also be drawn with hb pencil once again i repeat t t dash your base p as your center draw a perpendicular 90 degree line and that is called as a normal and name it as n n dash and it should be drawn drawn with hp pencil now we have completed the curve we have drawn the curve and we also plotted the point p and also made tangent and normal to this curve after completing that after completing the entire diagram then go for marking the dimensions and dimensions should be away from your diagram so this is your diagram right the dimension whatever we going to do should be away from the diagram so dimensions what we going to do in question they have clearly given that the distance between directrix and focus is 50 mm so this is the directrix sign just draw the uh, this line the pink color line is called as a dimensioning line the dimensioning line should be drawn with h h pencil and dimensioning line is also should be very light so from your directrix take some first of all there are two measurement one will be 30 and another will be 50 right so try to mark 30 first and then 50 this 30 is they have clearly given uh, if you divide into five equal parts means you will be getting 30 mm so a to v the distance between a to v is 30 mm and this is the dimensioning line and try to mark your dimension at the middle of the line and same while for marking the distance from directrix and focus is 50 mm after marking 30 just few distance below you can mark the uh, distance from the directrix and focus as 50 mm and one more thing is uh, i have used uh, an arrowhead like this right so this is not the right one if you want to draw the arrowhead it should be in the ratio of 3 is to 1 just follow my step uh, i have drawn three different line right so first second third just draw a line and next step try to take a distance so this distance should be 1 and this distance should be 3 that is that is why they are called as arrowhead as 3 is to 1 so horizontal distance will be 3 and vertical distance will be 1 so same while i have just drawn for three different lines also finally we need to get an arrowhead like this and you also should not use an arrowhead you should not use arrowhead like this it should be a sharp pointed one the next step is just join these two lines first the first thing is draw a horizontal line and just at certain distance draw a uh, draw a small line like this it should be one it should be in one one mm not 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 one mm uh, this should be three times and this should be one time like that so horizontal distance will be three and the vertical distance will be one and then just join these two points and he will be getting like this after getting you just shade it so it should be close to the arrowhead the arrowhead should be close to the arrowhead dimension line should be h and extension line these are the extension line this is the extension line the extension line should be in 2h dimension line and extension line should be very very light and extension line should be 1 mm away from the diagram just see here 1 mm away from the diagram so after complete after completing your diagram try to write ellipse the height of the text should be 10 mm the height of the text should be 10 mm draw a line vertical i mean draw a horizontal line very very lightly and try to uh, write the wordings very legibly and try to put a box also keep the heading as your middle okay if if this is the diagram means try to keep your keep your heading to the middle of the diagram above and then d d dash directrix a a dash axis b is vertex f is focus 
t t dash is tangent n n dash is normal v g v g is equal to v g dash is equal to v f as i said before uh, try to write these thing these are called as subheadings the height of the text should be point uh 7 i mean 7 mm so heading should be 10 mm right so ellipse should be 10 mm and subheading should be 7 mm and at last right try to write all dimensions are in mm and scale one is to one this should be in 5 5 mm height of the text should be 5 mm heading 10 mm subheading 7 mm height of the uh, all dimensions and scale one is to one should be 5 mm try to write this part to the bottom of your page i hope so uh, the construction part is very clear in case if you have any doubt means just type in the comment section after completing your diagram your diagram should be like this you will be getting a oval shape this is an ellipse right you will be getting a elliptical shape like this and you only your curve tangent and normal alone should be dark see here only your curve tangent and normal alone should be a dark and your uh, arrow head should be sharp pointed like this this is the correct one arrow head should be sharp pointed and you have to write the number vertically at the middle of the line please do subscribe my channel uh, mechanical motivator and press the bell icon then only you will be getting all the videos which i upload thanks for watching this video have a great day